sorry about that. So what I was trying to say is that basically, we'll finish here. Um, it wasn't fun being the old Elvira because I was sick all the time. 18, 19 and stuff, I was still getting ear infections. My immune system was still going through the process of getting healthy. Um, this last year in 2020, towards the end, is when I started to finally have a good immune system. And I'm very proud of myself because it's not easy to do. And starting last year, I didn't have the ear infection. I'd got an ear infection a little bit here and there, and my doctor gave me, you know, meds and stuff for my ears. But that was, I get all the time. But I haven't since I have my immune system really good, and I eat healthy and the whole out. Because it's all about eating healthy and working out. Working out, you get a good immune system. You can pretty much fight probably a lot of things off. And we, I work out, like I said, um, all together, probably about six hours. We figured out I had like 580 minutes in the gym, and I'm in there six hours a week. And then I'm also in there uh, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, that's a half hour. So yeah, I'm in the gym total about eight hours a week because when I work out with my trainer, I have an hour and a half on Monday and Wednesdays. That's an hour and a half, that's three. And then I have four hours on there, so that's eight. That's about 11 and a half hours that I'm in the gym per week. And it would be averaging six days because I double up on Tuesday and Thursdays because Andrew can't get me in on the weekends. But I wasn't going to give up on Andrew with, because he's great as a trainer too. So we're going to use some sea salt. You're just going to season the taste. You're going to use some seasoned salt. Black pepper. And I think for me overall, onion powder. I'm happy with my life now because I can do a lot of things and I get to ride my bike. And I just bought myself a new bike to ride. Some tarragon. Just, just use a pinch. I'm just going to go like that. And you're going to put a little bit of Hungarian, but you're also going to garnish it with Hungarian pepper. And for me, I think for me, the neatest thing is, is that when people come and talk to me, they're, they're amazed because they're not familiar with my situation. You know, they think that I'm this person. Been there. No, not really. It just happened. I just been there four years, but it's taken me this long to get this size. One. And you're going to use two. tablespoons of milk oil. And okay. for where I came from and where I'm at today, it's been oh I've only had three tablespoons. Okay. So it's a unique feeling and it's a great feeling because I know where I'm at and to me, I think for me, the neatest thing is, is that I get to do things. Um, my legs don't hurt. I can ride my bike. I always wondered why I couldn't ride my bike before, I guess, because it was just too fat and didn't realize it. And five tablespoons of miracle. Oil. And, you know, to do what I'm doing and to enjoy life, that's what it's all about. Because you don't, we only get one life. And you want to take that life and you want to enjoy it because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. We're only promised today. God gave me a second chance, and I am very, very blessed with that second chance. Did I use the right way? Oh, yeah, because you know what? I was back now, and I'd be dead, but I ain't dead now. I'm healthy. I'm doing things, and tomorrow I'll feel like I'm dead because by the time I get done with circuit, then I drive home, and then I'll go to my trailer at the lake, and by 11 o'clock, I'm dead because at that point, I've been on almost uh, 19 hours. That's a long day and being driving and this is what it looks like and I have the calories the calorie count is for one four for a fourth cup serving one slash four you know fourth cup serving uh, calories is 166.75 carbs is 4.11 
fat is 10.95 and protein is 9.91. And I'm just gonna put it in a little bowl. I usually put it in a little container. I just put it in, you can put any kind of bowl or container. But I'm gonna take this with me. And show you here. And no, there's no mustard. The Hungarian paprika is what makes it the yellow part. And I garnish it with Hungarian paprika too. Well, that's not going to work. So we're going to have to get another one. That's okay. Mm, tastes so good. It tastes really yummy. Because it's not going to fit in that bowl. And for me, I think you become a better person. But you really have to put yourself first. Because nobody's going to do it for you. And that's what I learned. People don't care. You know, when I look at somebody and think, okay, you know, when I see them over, I wonder what their story is. Because I had a story behind mine. You know, everybody has a story. Not everybody's fat because they're lazy. Me, I just didn't eat right because people made fun of me the way I ate. And I got tired of them making fun of me. Well, you know what? I don't care anymore because I only hang with people that I know that are not going to make fun of me the way that I eat because I have to eat a certain way. And that's important to me and, and stuff. So, yeah, this fits much better. It's so, so good. It's probably one of the best ones. I have another one. I have somebody wants to try. And I'll share it with you guys next week. But it is so delicious. And putting that on some bread or even on a cracker or eating it without the bread, you can't beat that. Again, the calories is 166.75, carbs is 4.11, fat is 10.95, and protein is 9.91 for fourth cup serving. And it makes eight servings. So you just, I just put it down like this. I don't want to taste it now that I got it in. Mm -mm -mm. I could eat this whole bowl. <laughs> That's so good. It's just so delicious. And there you have it. A good, healthy sandwich. You know, you, you could use a whole wheat piece of bread. Let's say two of them. That's 120. So, and I don't know, I don't remember the carbs in uh, the calorie count for the whole wheat. On a rye, it's 16 and it's like two for fat. And one slice is 90. So if you went that route, you're looking at one slice of rye bread and you cut it in half, that would be 90. That would be 256 calories for the sandwich. Now, if you go buy a sandwich out at the restaurant, I've already looked at the calorie count 470, 570, 600. Um, you know, here, and it's measured. I do measure my food. Uh, I always measure my food because I have to. Um, if I don't, I know I can eat wrong. And I've worked too hard to get to that point where I don't want to, you know, say, okay, let's say I uh, just decide I'm not going to eat that. But, well, I could gain my metabolism. I could gain tomorrow by five pounds if I just ate wrong. So that's why I really watch what I eat. When I do go out, I have to ask questions, and sometimes I tick people off. So I try not to go out to eat very much if I don't have to. My cheat day, I usually want to get a pizza, and I'll get a pizza around the neighborhood, and I get it from the same place. They know me like heart. I tip good. They put it out in the, the thing for me. They'll make it the way that I need it, which is very great. You know, I might tip them a little extra. Do I care? No, because it's my cheat day. But uh, right now I haven't been cheating because I'm really, really on a tight schedule here. 
on from some stuff, but I hope everybody enjoyed it. We'll have another egg salad next week because I know that there's another one I want to show you with some different seasonings, but we do use Miracle Whip. And I do have one that I use with sour cream. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope everybody stays healthy, work out, put yourself number one, because if I can get that weight off, so can you. It's all about eating healthy, working out. If you do those two things and make those two things part of your life, you will find that you're much healthier. Um, your immune system will take, can pretty much, you know, conquer anything. That's the whole idea. And I do drink two gallons of milk a week because I drink a lot of milk. And I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink beer. I haven't drank beer in six years. I haven't drank alcohol in four. I had to give those up. If you really, really want to, you can do it. You have to put yourself number one. Excuse me. Nobody else is going to do it for you. God bless everyone. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Come by this weekend because we got a great salad. I'm going to have turkey burgers again next week for lunch with a great new salad I have. I'm also going to show you a great dinner recipe, healthy, low carbs. God bless. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Keep God and the angels in your life and work out. Put yourself number one. You can do this. Bye.